Flavortech is a small company, often competing against companies that have 15 or 20,000 people in their teams. If we are to survive, we have to be at the front. We can't be following behind. Flavortech is a manufacturer of processing equipment. We design, manufacture and sell unique processing technologies to over 60 countries around the world. From passion fruit farms in Peru and Ecuador to coffee facilities in Brazil, flavor companies in Japan, China and Europe. More than half our team are traveling around the world. At least they were before the pandemic. So our schedule showed that within a few short months, our factory would be completely empty. So we had to find new ways to utilize our staff. We accelerated the production of new innovative technologies. In brainstorming sessions with the team, we quickly developed new ways of training the customers. Our team sat down and put together manuals using photographs of each component to be able to show customers step-by-step step how to install the equipment and how to operate the equipment. We also sent augmented reality glasses to our customers overseas so we could actually see through their eyes and direct them step-by-step step through the process as if we were really there. So the advice I'd like to give to other manufacturers that are exporting is to have faith. Faith in yourselves, faith in your products, faith in your people, and faith in your customers. Australians can do anything, we've shown that. And as long as we're communicating properly, we can survive anything.